Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how you can build scenes in Blender using just images without using 3D models. So, I am in Blender, I'm gonna select this cube X and delete of course. Very quickly on the edit, go on the preferences of course, yes, on the add-ons, up right here, image. And select the box, import, export, images, display, select the box and choose right here, save preferences. Close this window. Now, what I wanna show you, I just don't love this stupid image of those buildings. I'm gonna put right here, background remover. Uh, link in the description of course as you can see this automatically removes the background from my image and i can import this image of those buildings to my 3d scene i don't have to add 3d models to my scene yes and if you have bullshit pc like i am you just add images so shift a on the plane s and make it bigger and i can go on the file of course and i can go import images explains and i have right here i just download yes, this stupid image uh, without background, so I'm gonna import this. I think this is this S and make it bigger right here. And I can go on the render view on this icon. As you can see, I can use this image with, of those buildings to my 3D scenes. I don't have to add 3D models, basically, yes. And it's with without background, so I can put another basically image behind this, yes. And to be honest, this technique works well if you're gonna add something in the background, yes? And with, with one building. So I'm gonna show you, because I have created a couple of images. And to be honest, my advice, create a whole library of images without background, if you want. So I'm gonna just search right here very quickly on my file, right here. And I can add this stupid building maybe right here, in GZ. And I don't have to basically add this building, 3D model of this, yes? This is not a good example. <laughs> I'm gonna add different criteria, yes? Very good. Uh, right here. This, maybe image gonna be better. So I just put, as you can see, images, and it's important how we're gonna use this, okay, on your, uh, on your scene, because if you're gonna create some camera movement and you're gonna pass those buildings i don't know if it's gonna be good because the people are gonna see like okay this is fucking flat so always remember to place your camera uh, correctly okay to not basically give the illusion like okay this is just flat image you get the idea so of course you can always rotate right here yes to establish better basically shot these buildings at my walls so I'm gonna build very quickly some scene yes, using those stupid images of those buildings uh, right here. So it's very useful, like I said, technique. If you have bullshit PC, I don't have to add this 3D model of this building. I just add right here this image. Yes, I cannot deny the world. And I can build whole scenes, whole city using this technique. Just remove the background from the images, import those images as planes and put your in the put those images in the scenes i hope you get it guys how this technique works uh, i'm gonna put of course sides of those uh re remover backgrounds yes on the link in the description of course subscribe if you like this video and you can build some scenes like i said you can build add this whole city i'm gonna maybe add the background right here yes why not and it's very cool technique like i said because it's if you're gonna low out basically uh, the whole three model if you have bullshit pc it can be problematic yes so you can add just image behind this and what it's cool about is you can play around on the image colors yes too so i can just put this city behind this whatever no one cares right here yes and i can move this gz I can put another image basically of the sky and it's important you can use this on animation too so you can basically uh, add green screen footage i have different tutorial how to remove green screen footage as planes and uh, you can play around right here you can select go on the click on this icon change this to shader editor play around you can add roughness more yes of those images yes i'm gonna select maybe this bigger image. It's bigger. 
guess. And I can add more metallic, more play around. I can build more to this scene to basically uh, add the colors to match up to the whole scene. If that makes sense. I hope you get how this works. Thank you for watching, guys. Subscribe, of course. And see you on the next video. Bye, guys.